Okay, so since we are at the end of the year, a lot of other filmmakers on YouTube are making videos talking about their favorite camera gear that they got this year, but I haven't really bought a ton of exciting gear. Pretty much just picked up a Sony FX30 and that's about it. So instead, in this one, I wanna go over a few of my most used Resolve plugins for this year that have helped me a lot, both in my filmmaking work as well as the stuff that I've been making for this channel. This video isn't sponsored by anyone but some of the links that I'll have to some of these are affiliate links but you don't have to use them if you don't want to you could just google them separately so we're gonna start with a few of the plugins from motion vfx I've been using these a lot since the start of the year and they have saved me a lot of time one of them is mHype, which is a plugin with a bunch of dynamic titles as well as a few other assets that I've used across a lot of my videos. They're easy to work with and they don't look too over the top, which is nice and that's why I like them. Another one is mTutorial, which I use for motion graphics whenever I make tutorials or explainer videos. Stuff like arrows, focus boxes, highlight area pointer things and that sort of stuff. And if I wasn't using this, I gotta be honest, I probably wouldn't bother making any of these by hand. So out of all of the plugins from Motion VFX, I think that this one is definitely the one that saved me the most time this year. I've also used a few assets from M Documentary, not so much for these YouTube videos as for client projects, but the things I've used from this one are ones that would have otherwise taken me a ton of time to set up, so it's worth the mention. And I've also used their M Logo plugin as well. I pretty much got this for a single client project back at the start of the year, and I thought that I wouldn't use it at all after that, but I was actually surprised when I ended up having to use it for a bunch of different client projects after that as well and I don't need any logo animations for my own projects or for my YouTube videos but every now and then when I need to animate a client logo for something this is really useful and creating something like that from scratch would take me ages so this turned out to be a lot more useful than I thought it would be even for me the next one is a plugin that I made a full video about before which which you can go and check out if you want to hear what it's all about. But it's going to be Beat Edit, and it's essentially a plugin that lets you visualize the tempo of a song that you're working with in your edit by creating stuff like markers or a metronome track to match the beats. I've used this for a few personal projects as well as on stuff for clients when I want to make sure that I am matching stuff that's happening in the video with the timing of the beats of a song. I've also been using it whenever I I've got a background track for a YouTube video that I need to make shorter or longer without having the cut be very noticeable. It's not super flashy, but it's really helpful in the right workflow, so I definitely think that it's worth checking it out. Again, I've got a full video that explains how it works and what it's all about much better than the description I just gave you, so you can go and check that out. The next one is a free plugin called Soundly Place It, and again, I've also got a video showcasing how it works so you can go and check it out after this one. It lets you make sound effects or music sound as if they're coming out of different sources like elevator speakers, a car radio, a phone, or a bunch of other stuff like that. It's also really good for when you want to make something sound like it's placed in different environments. So if you want it to sound like it's in a living room or a kitchen or a warehouse, it basically gives you a very simple way to make Make your audio sound a way that fits the scene better. And for me personally, using this plugin to get the desired effect takes way less time than having to set up absolutely everything manually with the built-in effects and resolve. It's great, it works really well and it's free, so there's no reason not to get it. Plus, it pairs really well with the next plugin, and that's gonna be Croto Studio. I did a video showing how this one works recently, but ever since I started messing with it a few months back, I think that this is absolutely one of the 
most useful plugins you can get if you do a lot of sound design for your videos. I'm not gonna get into exactly how it works in this one. You can check out the full video for that, but it essentially lets you dynamically change a ton of different sound design presets that they have in their software. So it's basically like you are performing the exact sound effect that you need for your video. And aside from being insanely useful for actual client projects, sometimes I just like literally open it up when I'm not even editing anything and I just play around with customizing the different effects that they have in there just for fun. But yeah, it's crazy cool and there is a completely free version that's a little bit more limited in terms of the number of presets, but it's still super useful for the right project. One more is a plugin that I recently made a video about called Supertone Clear and this one helps you clean up the background noise and reverb from your audio and I've only been using it for the past few months but still it works really well and it's supposed to use artificial intelligence which I can't really like confirm whether or not it's true. It's got a super simple interface that gives you a little bit more control for how you clean up your audio than the built-in resolve voice isolation but you can use both of them together like I've been doing and if you tweak the settings a little bit and make sure not to go way too far with the sliders on either of them you can save some recordings that would have otherwise probably been unusable. Only drawback is that it's a little expensive for what it is in my opinion. I got it for $30 because I was a beta tester and got a discount code but now it costs more and if you're just someone who films stuff for yourself it might not make sense to get this. You're probably going to be just fine with the voice isolation in Resolve but if you do client work and you need to clean up audio often then this is probably going to pay for itself in like one one project so it might be worth checking out. I am also currently testing out a few other plugins that seem very cool so if all goes well I should hopefully be making videos about those soon as well but I guess you'll just have to wait and see.